Welcome to God's Own TV. Almighty God, we grant your request. Following the just concluded 2023 Grammy Award night, Joshua Mike Bamiloye, son of evangelist Mike Bamiloye, has reacted to the event via Twitter, noting that it was not deserving of Christian attendance, let alone bagging awards. The 65th annual Grammy Awards, where artists are recognized and appreciated with awards for their contributions to the world of art. This year's event was held yesterday, 5th of February 2023, at the Crypto.com. Com Arena in Los Angeles. It was gathered that Sam Smith, an English singer and songwriter, staged a satanic Grammy performance. Sam Smith was confirmed to have performed in Devil's Haunts with dancers in long red robes with long straight hair formed around him in a ritual circle. Joshua Mike Bamiloye responded to the performance by stating that Sam Smith's performance is an example of what they do and that no believer should ever aspire to be a part of it. Joshua Mike Bamiloye went on to say that the regulations of the event were stated by Sam Smith on stage and that they are nothing more than the spirit of Satan, the enemy of God. In his words, it gets more blatant each time. The reflection of what rules in their midst, there I say, there is no real heaven mandate reason why a child of God Christian would desire to be in the Grammys. Dear Christian music artists, have a re-evaluation of your stand and principles if the likes of the Grammys are one of your goals and aspirations. Focus on the true goal, soul winning and glorifying God through your craft. A follower of Joshua Mike Bamiloye, identified as Henry Olomi Moyo, countered Joshua's stand, stating that Daniel lived at the headquarters of sorcery and was one of their advisors. He also mentioned that Joseph also communed with magicians in his own time. Therefore, there is nothing to wrong with associating with events like Grammys. He wrote, let's take it easy. Daniel was at the headquarters of sorcery and was the most trusted advisor of at least three pagan kings. Joseph too communed with magicians in his time, in the world, but not of the world. Joshua Mike Bamiloye, never short of replies, responded that the cases of Joseph and Daniel were very different, as they only served in politics to make a change in the kingdom of Babylon and Egypt respectively. In his words, not the same thing. Daniel's case can be likened to being in politics, the helm of affairs of the kingdom of Babylon, the same as Joseph, but for Egypt. I get what you mean, but this is very different. Daniel was the ruler of the province of Babylon and chief prefect over the wise men. Joseph became chief logistics officer. Esther was queen. These people by God made an impact through the politics sector. I do get you, sir, but this is not a proper comparison. Daniel, Esther and Joseph were instrumental in a greater move that God wanted to bring about in their respective societies, hence their position of leadership. When you apply for award shows like this, believe it or not, they are impacting you more. The aim of chasing a Grammy is basically to get recognized, appreciated and awarded, aside the financial benefits, which aren't bad things if you're an artist by profession. Kudos to you. But as a gospel artist, your goals and priority must be different. Seeing how we compare being at the Grammys to being in politics or taking over Entertainment Mountain just shows how greatly we perceive it. It's a music award show organized by a few people. God doesn't need you to be in it before an impact can be felt. So, please.